What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about how to install and use the Subnautica Reef Editor. This is an amazing program that has a lot of potential. Sadly, I think the project was abandoned, but it still works. It was still a work in progress. It Last time it was updated was 2022, I believe. But with this program, you can edit the terrain, you can change the style of the terrain, and you can completely change your modded Subnautica gameplay experience. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use this, and let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is download the Terrain Patcher mod. Now, this can be used for 2.0 and Legacy, but there are going to be some subtle differences between the two, and I'll show you which ones. If, if you're working on Legacy, you would scroll down and you would move open the Assets tab to download one of the older versions, but since I'm showcasing 2.0, that's what we're going to be doing. So you're going to download that. It's going to go into, of course, just like any other plugins, Bepinex plugins folder. Yes, it will go into the Bepinex plugins, and then I have Terrain Patcher right there. So, you get that downloaded, and then you're going to be going over here, and then you're going to be downloaded the Subnautica Reef Editor. Now, remember, this is not a mod. This is a separate program. So, it really does not matter where you put it. At, in my confusion... I accidentally put it into my Bepinex plugins folder, so you, I would recommend you to put it right here in your main directory, so that way you know exactly where it's at. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to open it up. Reef Editor and then Subnautica Reef Editor right here. Alright, so here we are in this right here. And the first thing that you're going to be doing is going to Settings. And you're going to be finding your main Subnautica directory. And this, in my case with Steam, it's Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Subnautica. It might be different if you have Epic Games. But just to show you how it's done, browse out of this. Okay. Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And then we're going to go to Subnautica so that we know we got that set. So now we're going to be going to Materials. Now this is going to be loading up all of the textures that Subnautica has to offer. Sand, coral, you can even put lava in your area if you want to. If you want to make the whole world a lava zone. <laughs> there are all kinds of textures that the game has to offer. So now we're going to be going into the game all right so here we are in a new file of subnautica and what we're going to be doing first is pressing f1 now f1 is basically telling you the area that you are located in in this case you're going to be looking at the camera batch number now for me some of these numbers don't really want to cooperate 12 19 13 didn't want to work so i had to put in 12 18 13 so let's go back to this right here and then we're going to be going to load now we've got 12 18 13 and are oh, there we go right there this is the safe shallows area and i'm going to be showing you how to move it around you can i'm using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out I'm using the third mouse wheel to kind of grab it and move around. And you can also use the WASD keys to kind of slowly move around if you want to. Of course, this program was a work in progress, so kind of getting in right exactly where you need to be can sometimes be a little bit of a hassle. But this program, regardless of whether or not the program was abandoned or the project was abandoned, it's still a very useful tool. So here's what, so you wanna make some changes. You wanna change your, your area, what do you do? So we go to brush. Now there's all different kinds of options here. Now just like the Terraformer mod, you can actually add land if you want to. You can flatten it out. Uh, there's even like ways to smooth it out. 
and or if you want to remove you could even do like what they had in the previous versions of, of Subnautica you can make a hell hole <laughs> that goes all the way down to the lava zone which would take a lot of work but now here if you want to change it to lava for example you would go to paint now paint is if you're wanting to add any of this to it so let's say that I wanted to make this entire area just lava just change it all up and I wanted to have like a big giant hole I would increase the brush size and the strength and I could and it, it'll kind of lag your computer down a little bit if you, <laughs> depending on the speed of your computer Let's see, let's move down a little bit here. Yeah, let's just make us a big hole. <laughs> that way we'll know undeniably whether or not this is working for us. Okay, so I'm gonna go to paint, change this to lava. I might wanna reduce this a little bit so it don't slow my computer down too much. But you get the idea of how this works. You're going, this is a time consuming process if you're wanting to change up the entire world, then it might take a while. But this would be fun to make little edit, edited areas of your modded gameplay and change it up however you want to. Just keep in mind, though, that if you do remove terrain from some areas, then you will have objects that are floating. Like, say, for example, the kelp. It is locked in place, and it will be floating over nothing. So keep, just keep that in mind whenever you start editing things. So... So let's say that we want to save this. We want to get this into our game. How do we do it? So we're gonna be going to export. Okay, so it turns out that when you export, you actually export the one in the middle because uh, the FBX, I think, turns it into a model where you could actually edit that in Blender if you wanted to. So yeah, you're gonna be doing this one right here when you go to export you are going to be putting it in let's see, let me go back FNX, plugins terrain patcher and then patches now that's what I have right there is my file I already have it in there so then I would save over that if I wanted to make more changes to it but yeah I, at first I thought it was FBX but it's actually this one right here and I think it's possible the opto trees might be the option for for legacy version if you're using QMods, but I'm not completely sure on that. It might be still be this one even for even for both versions. All right, so let's see if our changes were made. <laughs> Here we are back in Subnautica. Let's turn off the fog. Go to free cam. Oh, okay. All right, so here is the area that we made our changes. As you can see, uh, there it is. It's popping in. <laughs> there is lava all over the place. Here is the giant hole that I that I dug. But as you can see, some of these objects will float. So just keep that in mind whenever you're editing. But I can't wait to see what some of you guys come up with. You can almost create your own custom mod with this. So there's no limit to what you can do with this terrain editor. So... Anyway, guys, if you have a question about the installation process, don't forget to leave a comment, and I will be glad to help you out. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Subnautica content and how-to instructions, and peace out.